In this video, you're going to take a look at how to use animated container to gradually change values over time, how to use animated crossfade to crossfade between two children widgets, how to use animated opacity to show or hide widget visibility by animated fading over time, how to use animated size to animate the size of a widget, and how to use animated position to animate the position of a widget in a stack. Flutter has two types of animation, physics-based and tween. This video will focus on the tween animations. Now, tween is short for in-between, meaning that the animation has beginning and ending points, a timeline, and a curve that specifies the timing and speed of the transition. The beauty is that the framework automatically calculates a transition from the beginning to the end point. The animated container is a continue widget that gradually changes values over a period of time. The animated container constructor has arguments called duration, curve, color, height, width, child, decoration, transform, and many others. Now, how does it work? The animated container constructor takes a duration argument, and in this case, you use the duration class to specify 500 milliseconds. The curve argument gives the animation a spring effect by using curves dot elastic out. The onPressed argument calls the increase width method to change the width variable dynamically. The set state method notifies the Flutter framework that the internal state of the object changed and causes the framework to schedule a build for the state object. The animated container widget automatically animates between the old width value and the new width value. The animated crossfade widget provides a great crossfade between two children widgets. The animated crossfade constructor takes a duration, a first child, second child, crossfade state, size curve, and many other arguments. Now, how does it work? The animated crossfade constructor takes a duration argument, and you use the duration class to specify 500 milliseconds. The size curve argument gives the animation between the two children's size a spring effect by using curves that bounce out. The crossfade state argument sets the child widget to be shown once the animation is completed. By using the crossfade state show first variable, the correct crossfade state child is displayed. The first child and the second child arguments hold the two widgets to animate. If you need to hide or partially hide a widget, animated opacity is a great way to animate fading over time. The animated opacity constructor takes the duration, opacity, curve, and child arguments. For this example, you do not use a curve. Since you want a smooth fade out and fade in, it's not necessary. Now, how does it work? The animated opacity widget takes a duration parameter and you use the duration class to specify 500 milliseconds. The opacity parameter is a value from 0 to 1.0. The opacity value of 1.0 is fully visible, and as the value changes towards 0, it starts to fade away. Once it reaches 0, it's invisible. If you need to animate the size of a widget, you can use the animated size to increase or decrease the child's widget size over a given duration. The animated size constructor takes the duration, vsync, curve, and child arguments. Now, how does it work? The animated size widget takes the duration parameter, and you use the duration class to specify one second. The vsync is referenced by this, meaning this reference of the animated size widget state class. The curve argument gives the animation a spring effect by using the curves dot ease in out. The child icon size property takes the size variable, and as it changes, the new size is animated. Note, in order to use the vsync property, use the single ticker provider state mixin class. If you need to animate the position of a widget in a stack, you can use the animated position to animate the position of the child widget. Now, how does it work? The animated position widget takes a duration parameter, and you use the duration class to specify two seconds. 
the child icon left property takes the left variable, and as it changes, the new position within the stack is animated.